Hello everyone, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'll guide you step-by-step -step on how to configure a TP-Link Pawn OLT transparent setup, which means your OLT will accept and work with ONUs from different brands, not just TP-Link. So without further ado, let's get started. Here's a quick look at our topology. I'm using a Macrotic router as the NAT router. I've configured two VLANs, VLAN 10 for the PPPoE server and VLAN 99 for management. For the uplink connection, I've tagged these VLANs on the OLT's Ethernet uplink port, since I currently don't have a direct attach cable for the SFB slot. To access the OLT for configuration, I'll connect my laptop directly to its management port. The default IP address of the OLT is 192.168.1.1, so I'll set my laptop's IP address to 192.168.1.23, within the same subnet. Let's now access the OLT via web browser. Input the default username and password, which admin for the username and admin also in the password. Click login. You will be asked to change the default password. Input your preferred password, then click apply. Follow the steps that I will do to configure transparent setup in Tplink OLT. I prepared here a step-by-step -step guide. First step, create VLANs. Go to L2 features, then VLAN. Click Add. Create VLAN 10 and VLAN 99 and tag them on the Ethernet uplink port. If you have multiple VLANs, just add it here and make sure you tag it on your uplink port. Click Save. Next step is to create DBA profile. Navigate to PON, then Profile, then DBA. Click Add. Profile ID is 1. Input name, DBA profile, 1-1250 MBPs. Type is max. Then max bandwidth is 124-4160. Then click Create. Go next to Line tab. Click Add. Then Profile ID is 1. Input Name. Line Profile 1-1250 MBPs. Then click Apply. Scroll down and in TCON tab, click Add. Set TCON ID to 1. Then in DBA Profile, select the one that we recently created. Then click Create. Go next to Gemports tab. Click Add. Gemport ID set to 1. Then in TCON ID, select the one that we recently created. Then click Create. Go next to GEM Mapping Rules, then click Add. Set the GEM Mapping ID to 1. You can add up to 8 GEM Mapping ID. GEM Port ID, select 1. Then in VLAN Tagged, input here the VLANs that you created. In our case, it's VLAN 10. Don't include the VLAN 99 because it's for the OLT management. Then click Create. If you have multiple VLANs, you can add it here. You can add up to 8 VLANs per 1 GEM Port. Click Save. Next step is to create service profile. Go to PON, then Profile, then Services. 
Click Add. Profile ID, 1. Profile Name, Service Profile, 1. Native VLAN, Unconcern. Then click Apply, then Save. Next step is to configure ONU registration. Go to Auto Authentication tab, enable it then apply. Select PON ports one at a time. Edit Rule ID 1. Line Profile Line Profile 1-1250 1 MBPs. Service Profile Service Profile 1, then click Apply. Do this to all the PON ports. Then Save. Next step is to create service ports. Click Add. Enable Batch Config. Description, PPPoE. SVLAN 10. Select PON Ports, 1. ONU ID, 0 to 127. GEM ID 1. User VLAN 10. Tag Action, Translate. Then Apply. Repeat the same process and do it to all the pawn ports. If you have multiple VLANs, repeat the same process as well and input that VLAN ID on SVLAN and user VLAN fields. Now that the transparent configuration is done, I'll power on two ONUs from different brands. Let's check under Auto Authentication to see if the ONUs are detected and assign the profiles automatically. As you can see, both ONUs were successfully detected and assigned the correct service settings. I'm done configuring the WAN settings of the two ONUs. We will just access it using the PPPoE IP address that it gets. I will transfer the cable of my laptop to the macrotic side.
Let's go to PPPoE, then Active Connections. As what you can see, the two ONUs has been detected. This is the first ONU. This is the second ONU. I will access the first ONU. I will also access the second ONU. Input the username and password of the two ONU. Check on status and WLAN settings of the two ONU. I will test the Wi-Fi of the two ONU. As what you can see, the two owners have an internet and the configuration works as expected. And that's it. You've just learned how to configure TP-Link Pawn OLT transparent setup, allowing support for various ONU brands. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Also, click the notification bell so you'll get updated when I upload new videos. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one. Bye and have a great day.